Becoming the monarch of Shadow's rebel leader is no joke. So here's a guide on what you need to do to prepare. Let's get YouTube. No getting me here. Come on to you today with a nice little guide, a little quick guide on how to become the monarch of Shadow's rebel leader. As you can see here, we've reached it on a free to play account. The job conditions are you want to clear story chapter eight, which is basically Egress the Red on hard mode. We did that. Be sure to check out that video. Reach 70k power with Sanjinu and then reach level 55. So the only thing that we were waiting for before we hit it was hitting level 55 and we did that on the previous vod so make sure you guys check out the live stream vod but if you can't here's basically the tldr so when it comes to reaching 70k total power we do have a guide on how to get your power up but definitely 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 it lies in the artifacts guys so as you can see here we kind of got a bunch of artifacts a lot of half sets these are four different sets that i'm running all two set effects and that's fine because i feel like in the early mid game set four set effects won't help out as much as stats will if we parse these artifacts honestly guys you can see why i'm running half sets instead of full four sets also i honestly don't have any good four full four sets for sun jinu but let's talk about it a little bit as we can see here the attack on a black line helmet is insane guys attack additional attack critical hit rate plus three i'm getting this was a very very good set honestly i don't see myself taking this off for a while honestly there has to be a crazier set than this but going forward the black lion body armor this one's a little bit all right but we're getting critical hit rate attack percentage and defense plus two and then going to the other half set we have toughness this one's giving us good critical hit rate damage defensive penetration and then the boots give critical hit damage so that's fire damage increase uh, additional mp yada 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 so I ended up plus 20 in this, which got me critical hit rate plus three. And then the rest of these are plus 15, because honestly, there are right sets, but we just wanted to get to that 70K power. Now talking about the accessories, the accessories are actually very nice at their half sets. We get attack plus two and a critical hit damage plus two on the verdescent necklace. This is honestly insane. Another very good blessed set. We're pairing that with the verdescent bracelet. This one's giving us water damage increase and you know we love the grimoire. So we're rocking that critical hit damage, defensive penetration plus one and attack plus one. I might have to plus 20 this so I can get lucky maybe on getting critical hit damage plus one and increase our crit even more. Moving forward to the last half set, rocking champion on the field. Now again, this is fire. We're getting an attack as the main stat, defensive penetration, critical hit damage plus two, damage reduction plus two, and a good amount of HP. And then the necklace, or the earring, sorry. We got damage plus two, and then critical hit damage plus one, defense penetration, and of course, they're always the additional MP. So not bad artifacts. If we go back to the artifacts, these are the boosts that I'm getting from the artifacts alone. So I'm getting almost a 50% buff in my attack percentage just from artifacts, an 8% buff in HP, a good amount of defense here, and then critical hit rate 4,800. And I need to find a better artifact to use because the cap is 4,000. So I do need to swap out one of these artifacts very very soon but we're grinding our instance we're grinding our iron core dungeons and through there we'll be able to get a better set eventually we're on tier eight we've three starred tier eight egress and lycan so that's very very nice as we can see here lycan that's a three star egress that's a three star in tier eight but i need to start enhancing my hunters when it comes to tier seven i haven't even touched tier seven because honestly the tier six rewards have been good enough but i think it's time to move forward now that we're getting better accessories for our hunters as far as Sanji knew, we can definitely move forward there. Also, what's increasing our power is definitely the Grimoire and the Plum Sword, but it's more so the Grimoire because we have two stars on that, which is basically otherwise known as A2 or two advancements. If we swing down to our armory, we can see here that I ended up plus winning this. So we got a nice little buff when it came to the transfer ratio. So we got that. And then I think I did the same. Yes, I did for the demonic plum flower sword. So guys, definitely you want to try and upgrade your army as soon as you can. It just takes these market time. You'll get these throughout the story mode. So you don't really have to buy that. You can also get that in the exchange shop, but I wouldn't really focus on that. You'll eventually have some of those 
regardless. The very last thing that can boost your power is leveling up your skills as well. So it doesn't even matter which skill if you have them equipped or not. So just keep that in mind. You guys definitely want to be upgrading your skills. Not saying you should just upgrade useless skills. You definitely want to upgrade the skills that you're going to use more often. As you can see here, these all these bottom skills are level eight and above, right? So definitely only upgrade the skills that you're going to mainly use. But if you need a nice, nice little boost, you can consider upgrading all your other skills. And then if we go to the magnifying glass, here's where we can see the full stat breakdown. So we're capped out at a 50% crit rate. 10% on the defense, 78 precision, 12,800 on the attack, a good amount of HP to match, and then scroll down here, and then you can see the rest of the stats. So that's about it. We got the live guide coming up right after this, so let me know what you guys think and leave your thoughts below. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right. Uh, Which one, though? I don't know if they count myself as a boss, so I don't know if boss slay is actually working properly, but... uh. Let's go daily quest. Let's go daily quest. I like daily quest. Back into the fray. So you got as your specialty. Cool. Facts. Job saying took me two hours. Damn. Just gotta dodge off rip. Like that. Literally like that. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Freeze. Freeze, bitch. You know, Egress being here is actually crazy. And that looks like a leap. That that looks like a general Egress, bro. I don't have that shade of Egress yet. Goodness gracious. Egress, I'm watching you. Egress, let us get the ones, bro. So, th so this is how my ops. What the fuck? Did Egress just fly out of the air? Nah, this shit is different. Yeah, Igris, you freeze too, buddy. Igris, bro, let me get the ones, dude. What is this, a 20v1? Oh my goodness! Yo, I hope I hope Igris actually gets an upgrade to do that. Okay, uh, okay, okay. You know, I didn't like that, buddy. Get sniped. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty easy. Monarch of Shadows, Rebel Leader.